Yo, what's good YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new Maxwell Asbo which was just released with the Casino Host DLC. Now this little car is very familiar if you are from the European area because this is based on a Vauxhall slash Opel Corsa. Uh, I say slash Opel because in different parts of Europe um, like in England we call it a Vauxhall, in say Italy they call it an Opel, you know, and different other places in Europe also call it Opel as well, but then also other places in Europe call it Vauxhall. Very strange, but um, that's just a name change. They're all courses and um, they all look like this. <laughs> it's so fucking weird, but when I saw that they had added, Rockstar had added this into the game, I had to come on here as soon as possible and uh, do a customization review on it, it just had to be done. Uh, so as you can see we have two prices, we've got the 306,000 or 408,000 uh, depending on whether you do a trade mission or where you obviously get a trade price for it. I haven't unlocked that yet so I'm just going to go with the buy it now option and get it for $408,000 so let's get that purchased up and I'm going to meet you back in the LSC. So as we pull into LS Customs, you'll see that the Maxwell Asbo is in the compacts category and you can see I smashed it up a little bit, very similar to the way they're treated in England. <laughs> um, I'm going to share a little fun fact with you guys right about now. I'm not sure how many of you or how many of my viewers are from the UK, um, but in the UK, an Asbo is a antisocial behaviour order um, for antisocial behaviour. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's universal. But it's definitely something that that is real in the UK, and you get troublesome youths driving the little Vauxhall Corsa around the UK streets. That's why I find it quite amusing that Rockstar has um, released a Corsa into GTA 5, and they've called it an Asbo. That's just really funny to me, um, obviously, because I I understand what it all means. I'm not sure, like I said, if if Asbo is a um, you know, a, a worldwide term for antisocial behaviour, but it definitely is in the UK. And I just found that quite funny. Uh, so yeah, fun fact over. Let's get into the build. So we're going to start with armour as always, with 100% body armour. Then we go to the bodywork. So we've got uh, to remove the trim. Not sure I'm going to do that because that is very coarse. I like that trim. Not sure if I want to remove it or not. But we do get the primary option, which is good. I like that. Maybe we can colour code it and we also get a carbon version of it as well. I'm going to go with the primary tr trim rather than removing it. Because like I said, the trim kind of gives it that real coarser vibe. So I'm going to keep the trim but go change it to the primary so it's colour coded with the car. Uh, the brakes, we're going to get the race brakes. For the front bumper, loads of different options for the front bumper which is nice to see. It's nice to see that we've got so many customization options because these cars are heavily modified in the UK. Um, so we get a primary arches, so that colour codes the arches, which is pretty cool too. Uh, we can get the tuner bumper. I like that actually, that looks quite nice. It's quite a nice design for this car. You know, not, not too over the top, it's very subtle. I like that, it's pretty cool. Uh, then we've got the sports bumper, which isn't too dissimilar to the stock one. It's very similar actually. Uh, the performance bumper, there's a little bit more out there. Uh, the street bumper and the competition bumper and that's it. My first thoughts with the tuner bumper was the best one and I think that's still the case to be fair. You can see that in the tuner bumper though it's got the outlay for a license plate but a UK style license plate. It's a shame they didn't give us the option to have not a UK license plate but a, a UK shape so it fitted into that little in inset. Uh, um, but you know Rockstar hasn't done that and the only thing that lets this bumper down in my opinion is the fact that we've got a, a US plate over a UK kind of insert it's just it just looks weird to me and it's quite a nice bumper other than that and um, so it's a shame that that's happened so I might have to go with a performance bumper just because it looks a little bit cleaner um, doesn't look like there's things where they shouldn't be this also looks quite nice as well the competition bumper but it's just a little bit too busy for my liking. Um, so I thought I'm gonna just go with a performance bumper. Let's grab it. The engine, we're gonna get a level four engine upgrade. The exhaust, fuck me, loads of options for the exhaust. Um, oh, okay. So, hmm. <laughs> so for an exhaust um, change, we can change the rear archers, which is weird. Why don't they just give us a separate category for, 
you know, rear arches or something like that. Why have they got to put it in the exhaust category? It does make no, it makes no sense whatsoever. It's so fucking weird when Rockstar does stuff like that. Anyway, uh, we're going to move on. We've got the tuna bumper, which is disgusting. Uh, the street bumper, which isn't really that much better, to be honest. I don't like how low it's making that back look. I want it to be the same sort of level as this, but just maybe look a little bit nicer. But again, these aren't really, even though technically they are changing the exhaust, it's changing the bumper alongside with it, and it doesn't make any sense. I don't know why they just didn't make, you know, two separate categories, which is pretty annoying. Uh, the race bumper actually looks quite cool. Uh, it's my favourite so far. The sports bumper, I see, like, I don't really like how to come in so low down. I like the bumper to be, you know, a little bit higher, even though these have got the, the side bits which come a little bit further down, but the majority of the bumper is at a decent height for me. Um, anyway, you've got a sports bumper, a performance bumper, which obviously matches the front. That's actually pretty cool. You know, I still think maybe the race bumper looks a little bit better. Hmm. Oh my Jesus, what the comp shit? That's, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh my God. That is awful. That is so fucking weird. Damn. I have no words for that. So I'm definitely not going to get it. Um, so I thought I'm going to go with a performance bumper because it's out of the performance and the race bumper for me. Um, but because the performance bumper matches the front bumper a little bit nicer, I'm going to go with that one. So then we're going to move on to, not the explosives, we're going to move on to the headlights and we're going to get, oh shit, oh nice, we get like a little insert into the, into the headlights, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go, we're going to go carbon for the, for the housing, uh, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, headlight covers, so we can get the half lids or the full lids, make it look bad boy style, nice. Yeah, we're going to go full lids for that. Hood. Loads of options for the hood, man. It's insane. We're not going to go carbon because we've just got the lids and it looks a little bit weird. We get a hood bra. Again, we're not going to get that because we've got the lids and it looks a little bit off. Um, we've got a vented hood. That's nice. I like that. Tasteful. We get that with a bonnet bra. Uh, the OTT. Double vented. Mm, actually looks pretty cool. I think that matches the front bumper quite nicely. And I don't know if anybody outside of the UK knows the term uh, max power style so if you're not sure what I mean by max power just um, google max power 2002 and you'll understand what I mean uh, yeah so that's the sort of style I'm going to go for because that's the sort of era this car's from and you still see quite a lot of them sort of um, courses modified like that which is um, quite funny <laughs> but um, yeah, I think my favourite was just these vents. I feel they look pretty cool. The the vented hood or the you know the double vented also look pretty cool. Um, but I'm gonna go a little bit more subtle for the hood, and I'm just gonna go with the vented one. So next we've got the lights, uh, headlights. We are gonna purchase the Xeon headlights. We are gonna get a neon kit for this build though, because like I said, they were going full early 2000s max power for this bitch. So we're gonna go front, back, and sides. Uh, neon color. I'm feeling like an orange for this car. Not sure if that's 100% color the color I'm going to go for, but that's the sort of, you know, the sort of color I'm thinking at the moment. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go with a lime green neon. So next we're going to move on to the liveries, loads of options for liveries, and we've got patchwork which <laughs> it is quite funny. <laughs> Because <laughs> I've I've actually seen a Corsa like that in real life, which <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, but I'm not going to be getting that. We've also got flames. Oh my god, you see that all the time as well. That's nuts. Yeah, all these sorts of liveries are very um, reminiscent of the early 2000s UK Corsa scene. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking nuts. But these sorts of ones, they're more like track day kind of liveries, which is. Um, you know, it's a bit more boring than that, to be fair. Um, yeah, I, I actually like this one. That was pretty cool. Where you got the um, the shopping list down the side. Not my sort of thing. So I'm going to skip past them. And we're going to go straight down to the respray. We're going to go primary colour. We're going to go metallic. So here we are at the metallic orange. I actually think that looks pretty mint. 
Uh, not going to lie, I, I do actually quite like it. So uh, I'm going to go with it. With the green underglow as well. Why the fuck not? We've got the secondary colour. Not sure what this is going to change. Um, oh, the wing mirrors there. We've got the wing mirrors which are going to change. I'm feeling maybe black for that. It might look pretty good. Or should I just go orange again? And keep the theme going. Yeah, man. We're just going to go orange as well. That still looks pretty sweet. Next, we've got the trim colour. Uh, we're going to... I think we're going to go like a creamy colour. Or maybe white. Just to be absolutely crazy. So yeah, cream actually looks really weird, actually. <laughs> um, the textures inside this car are awful. Look at that door card. That rear view mirror. It's actually really bad. Shocking. The textures inside this car are. Uh, the rear seats are just god awful. This looks really, really bad. This, the you know the front and passenger the front driver's seat and passenger seat doesn't look too bad. Um, the roof is just the same pattern all over all all the way across, which is weird. Um, yeah, it just doesn't look like a very nice place to be. But I'm gonna grab cr um, cream anyway. See what it looks like from the outside. And I actually quite like that to be fair. See from the outside looking in, it looks okay. But it's when you're in first person mode and you're actually looking close up against these textures. It's shocking. It's really bad. Um, but I'm going to stay with that. I think it actually looks quite cool. Um, in a weird kind of old school max power way. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to go with that. What else do we have in here? We had, oh yeah, the accents colour. Uh, what does this... Ooh, we changed the dials. Nice. Let's... Uh, Let's get orange on that as well. Not like it matters because I'll never go first person anyway, especially in this fucking awfully textured monstrosity. But we're going to go orange nevertheless. Next we've got the roof and we get the options of roof racks, roof boxes, the roof scoops. I might have to get a scoop to be fair. Oh no, we've got to get the sun strip. Got to get a sun strip. So we're going to go secondary sun strip. So then I'm going to change the secondary colour because I want the sun strip to be a different colour. And we're going to go uh, secondary colour. We're going to go matte. And we're going to go black. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that is really annoying. I'm going to have to change the primary colour now. Because we've got a weird pearlescent shine. Which isn't going to go because of the primary metallic colour. So we're going to go classic. And here we're just going to grab, you know, the normal gloss orange. That Still looks pretty cool. Uh, I am going to change the inside of it though. I'm not a massive fan of the uh, of the cream seats. So we're going to go back and uh, change it back to graphite. Next we go to the side skirts. Loads of options for the side skirts again. Uh, so we can colour code that. Uh, we've got the secondary. We've got the carbon. We've got the street. Which actually look pretty cool. Uh, the secondary street. Carbon street. Tuna. Tuna skirts, carbon tuna, competition, secondary competitions, carbon competition. So they're all pretty solid options. I do actually like them competitions one. I think they look quite nice and they they level up with the front and the rear bumper quite nicely as well. Um, what was the other option that I liked? Also the street ones were pretty cool too. Um, I thought I'm going to go competition though. I think they're my favourite, so I'm just going to go, um, not carbon, we're going to go competition skirts, there we go. Oh my days, we get an option for a spoiler. Blister wing, ah, that's not actually too bad, that's quite tasteful. That's alright, and um, we've got the secondary, the game, which is quite good, I like them, they're not too bad. These ones are a little bit weird, where they're raised up like that, It'll create quite a lot of drag, I think. Uh, the primary flat wings, these are quite nice wings, you know, I was expecting something a little... Less tasteful, to be fair. See, these are ones that are raised up. Looked a little bit weird. Not, not a massive fan of those. These ones, uh, nah, they just look fucking dodgy as hell. <laughs> Looks like you got a surfboard attached to the back of your car. See, these are the sorts of ones that I was expecting from the from the offset. Um, but no, actually started off with quite a good looking spoiler. Um, but these ones were my favourite, I think. The flap wing actually looked quite nice. So I'm going to grab that. Suspension, we are going to get competition. Oh my shit. What the 
fudge. Holy crap. So you go competition suspension, slams the hell out of it, and it gives you this insane camber. What the shit? Does it? Yeah, so the camber just slowly increases as it gets lower. That's nuts, man. <laughs> that is nuts. Don't know if I want it that low. Maybe on sport. Sport actually looks pretty good. Competition, man, it just goes nuts. I think sport is probably the best one because the camber's not outrageous on it. So we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go sports suspension for that. Transmission, we're gonna get race transmission and the trunk. Oh, nice, we get a trunk build. Yeah, man, we're gonna get the high end speakers. I love that. I love that they've added that into it. Turbo, we're gonna get turbo tuning. Wheels, wheel type. Uh, I think we're gonna go, go SUV, chrome. It's gotta be chrome. Early 2000s, man, everything was chrome. The cutters actually look really nice. Not gonna lie. Actually suit this car really nicely. So I'm not even gonna look anymore. I'm just gonna grab the chromed cutters. And also we're gonna get the tire design on there as well. Now to finish off this build guys, we are gonna go into the windows and I'm feeling dark smoke for this one, I think. So there we go, dark smoke window tint. And as we pull out, obviously it's night time. Of course it was gonna be night time. But as you pull out, man, it actually looks pretty cool. It's a nice, cool-looking little car. Sounds pretty sweet as well. Wheel spin is insane. Oh, my days, it is really wheel spin happy. And is that a little flutter from the turbo? I think I had a little... Oh, you hear a little turbo flutter. Not sure if you're going to hear that over my gameplay. But if you buy this car, it's got a little turbo flutter. A lot nicer than what it usually sounds. Because usually it's more like a dump valve where it goes... Tss, but this is like a little... Tss, tss, it's like a little flutter. It's nice, man. You know, when you just let off the um, let off the gas, it just goes... Tss. It's nice. I like it. Fuck off, Dom. So that's different as well. That's something that we haven't got on other, other vehicles. As far as I'm aware, you, I'm pretty sure it's just got like a dump valve sound where it just goes... Tss, you know, when you change gear or let go of the accelerator. But with this, it's actually got a nice little flutter, which is really cool. Like I said, it sounds nice. It's really quite slow, to be honest. It's definitely not going to be something you use in many races. But then again, it is in a compact class. So maybe it is something you could use in races. Um, it's very, very slidey. For a front-wheel drive, it's, sli uh, you know, it's pretty unruly. But then it goes with its name Asbel, I suppose, doesn't it? Um, the steering is quite heavy as well, so it's like one of them cars where I think you you commit to a corner and then it'll take you in too far, a little bit too quickly, if that makes sense. Um, overall, it's a nice car to drive. It's not too bad. I think if it was any faster, the handling would really, you'd really suffer with the handling if it was any quicker than what it is. Uh, but because it's quite a slow vehicle, you can get away with the poor handling because, you know, there's not enough power behind it to throw you off course, um, so to speak. So, yeah, it's manageable. And for a fun little car, especially, like I said, if you're from the UK, this is the sort of thing that I think people will buy just, just for shits and giggles because it is the little car that you see driving around. You do get some nice examples, obviously, like you do of any sort of car, but the majority of them are pretty shocking. Um, so yeah, I think this is a really fun car to have, uh, especially if you're from, you know, my sort of part of the world and you understand what the course is all about. Um, but no, man, it, other than that, it, it's just a fun car to have. It sounds pretty cool. I like that little dump valve flutter, the turbo flutter that, that's there. And um, yeah, it's just an easy car to drive. Like I said, because it's not quick, because it's not overly fast, the poor handling is is quite easy and easily manageable um, which it needs to be really because if it was any faster you'd be fucking sliding all over the place and it would be a pain in the ass to drive um, but no quite quite pleasant and uh, the customizations on it are good enough for me I think um, what we could do to it it looks a lot more aggressive and uh, a lot more fun than what it did you know when I first took it in there 
Um, so yeah, overall, I am actually quite happy with this car. But anyway guys, I think I'm going to end the video there. I hope you guys did enjoy this video on the brand new Maxwell Asbo, aka Vauxhall Corsa. Uh, if you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And I've just noticed that picture in the background, she's got crossed eyes.